He was sitting like you are now, and he felt his prick in the shoulder, right just like you do now. He also felt as friction in his other arm as you do now. He seemed to feel that there was a small bug walking in the scalp, moving from the bottom. She walks to the middle of his head from above, which is the same as she feels now. Friction began to occur in his right eye, and then he felt like there was an insect on his ear, and he wiped it with his left hand like it would now. A box of Jewish folklore. Legend says this box has an evil spirit. You take him or whoever approaches him. He has more than one name or title. A nickname in the Deepak box, a word that means suspension. It means that the evil spirit within it is about the human spirit that owns this box and is very difficult to get rid of. In ancient beliefs, they think the soul remains hanging in the world and you try to come back to life again through anyone who owns the Dibuk box. This phenomenon is explained by the fact that this fund is acquired by the forces of evil spirits. On November 10th, 1938, in Poland, there was a session to prepare evil spirits for a group of ladies. When they tried to conjure an evil soul, they tried to hold her inside a box. Many years later, the fund arrived at Kevin Manns. He is a screenwriter and owns a shop for drying and tactics. Kevin bought it from someone who bought it from an auction. There was a woman who died in 2001, and the auction was set up on her holdings, and he got this fund. This woman's granddaughter told the person who bought the fund and sold it to Kevin. Her grandmother was born in Poland and married there, and she was a family. She was arrested by Nazism in World War II and was the only survivor of burning from all her family. She fled to Spain and later to America and had three things with her throughout this journey. The wine box was the grandfather called the Deep Oak Box and a box with sewing tools and a vase for steaming food. The grandson said the grandfather kept this box in the sewing room where she always sat alone. She was when the granddaughter asked her about this fund. Grandma spat three times and recommended that she never open this box. The granddaughter says she was seeing on grandmother's face signs of horror and fear. She told her to open this box at any time. Who bought this box from the auction when he felt that this box was a family inheritance? He tried to get him back to the granddaughter, but she refused. Then Kevin bought the box from this person, hence the misfortune of Kevin. Kevin says when he bought the box and put it in the store basement, he went to perform some needs and when he returned, he found all the lights disabled. The staff were in a state of sadness, and some were in fear, and there was a beautiful smell spread in the shop. Then the nightmares began to haunt Kevin more than night. He sees the soul of an old woman living inside the box. She seeks to kill him, despite the granddaughter's warnings not to open the box, but to open it. To know what was inside, and when he opened it, he found inside it. Two currencies from 1920 with yellow hair tops tied to a weak rope. He had brown hair strapped to another rope. A very small marble statue inscribed with the word Shalom in Hebrew. And a glass of wine made of gold. A candle is painted with black cats and a dry rosebud. Kevin cleaned things inside the box. He decided to give him a gift to his mother on her birthday because she liked to collect old things. When he came home, his mother had a stroke on the brain. For a period of time, it was treated until it recovered. She came back and wrote on the box a foul gift with curses. He was taking the situation ridiculously, and he saw this box as his masterpiece. Afterwards, he gifted him to his sister and brought him back to him and said, The box doors don't close. He decided to give him to his brother, but returned him to him and told him that the box was when he was put in a place. It stinks. In the end, Kevin decided to return the fund to the person from whom he'd bought it, but refused. Kevin told his family he wanted to get rid of this box, because Mrs. Very Old Nightmares are repeated with him, the last time he was between sleep and mindfulness. He was sitting like you are now, and he felt his prick in the shoulder, right just like you do now. 
He also felt as friction in his other arm as you do now. He seemed to feel that there was a small bug walking in the scalp, moving from the bottom. She walks to the middle of his head from above, which is the same as she feels now. Friction began to occur in his right eye, and then he felt like there was an insect on his ear, and he wiped it with his left hand like it would now. And then he started to feel like the insects were getting more and more on his whole body than they do now. He started standing up and started scratching his whole body, and then felt his prick in his foot. He looked quickly, and found a hand entering under the bed quickly. It was an old person's hand, and the bed cover started pulling to cover the exposed part of the bed. Kevin says I gathered my courage and extended my hand to lift the lid. As I raised him, I found another hand that pulled the lid from the same place he grabbed and pulled it down, till pulling it hard led him to fall to the ground. If I am surprised by an old woman, her face is filled with wrinkles and her face overcomes gray. It's a weird color. Under her eyes, she's black. She was looking at me very angrily. He came running out of the room, and when he brought some of his people to watch, they didn't even find a clinical cover placed in his place on the bed. But they noticed fingers raised that were holding him to the cover. He decided to put it up for sale on eBay and wrote in the ad, um, I can destroy this thing in seconds, but I really don't understand what this thing I'm dealing with. I'm afraid if you destroy this box, it has something to go with it. It may remain invisible, and it may turn into a curse that accompanies me and everyone I know. I know quite well that someone appreciates this stuff, and looks for it, and goes in, especially on eBay, and looks for such stuff, and so I offer it to sell here. The fund was sold for $140 to an undergraduate student, in a few months, he was once again offered for sale on eBay, but he was outspoken. He wrote in the headline, We and those who live with me in the university's accommodation. For a chronic state of insomnia, sadness, and depression, we forgot to sleep from the time this box entered our home. All the electronic devices in the dwelling have been disrupted and damaged. He asked us to pay for these things, and we are not guilty. You know we all felt shed, and we got ball at this young age. What is shown to us in Hoosing is something we have been unable to explain. Bad smells fill the place. I offer this box for sale from Jehovah's possession of this curse. They communicate with me. He was offered for sale for $300, but sold for $280, and who bought it was his name. Jocelyn Hackstein. Hackstein was 46 years old and a museum director. Hackstein said on the second day of buying the fund, I felt a severe thigh in my right eye, congestion in my nose and itchy throughout my body. Strange bruises on my body began to appear from my first head to my feet. There are strange smells spreading in the house, once like cat litter. And again it looked like jasmine, and when I searched, I found that that lady was raising cats and was perfumed with jasmine. Hackstein got rid of the box and wrote, I buried it and will not offer it for sale like what others offered, but I posted because everyone started talking about that box. It's a remote place hoping to get rid of it. There are other stories written about this box. Someone says my sister Waki and his wife came to my house to spend the evening sleeping in my house. The next day during breakfast, my sister complained about a horrible nightmare. You told us this nightmare was amazed, because it describes the same nightmare that I have even in the finest detail. My brother and his wife were also stunned. They said they saw the same nightmare as it became clear what the common denominator was. It is that each of us had the same nightmare and details during that time that this box was inside the house. Then I called my girlfriend because one night I had that box at home. She asked if she remembered any nightmare she had suffered recently. She described the same nightmare to me and asked if she remembered the date of the day she experienced nightmares. Was it while sleeping at home or after she went home? But she didn't remember. 
After that, I began to notice strange objects and spectrums appearing in my house very similar to shadows. In fact, many of my guests had told me that they had noticed the presence of entities and spectrums in my house. They demanded that I use some priests to exorcise evil spirits. I've always smelled weird smells sometimes. And sometimes other smells like perfume. I realized now that all this scourge was because of the box and because of something supernatural. Then I decided to get rid of it, but I couldn't break it or break it. Because I'm so afraid. I kept sleeping and woke up with the same fucking nightmare. I felt someone breathing with a hot breath behind my back and on my neck. Then I started to prick him in the shoulder, right and left. Then I found smells that flowed to my nose, the smell of jasmine flower. And then I feel like my toes got numb. I was the one who offered this fund for sale in the most popular sites for selling products.